In this presentation, we will learn how to use array name as a pointer. So let's get started. There is one important fact for us to understand. Name of an array can be used as a pointer to the first element of an array. This is very important fact. We can use the name of the array as a pointer to the first element of an array because it represents the first element of the array. Name of the array represents the base address of the first element of the array. That's why we can use it as a pointer to the first element of the array. And here is the example which can demonstrate this fact. We have a main function and inside this main function I have declared an array A which consists of 5 elements. Initially it is not containing any element. And here is the pictorial representation of this array A. And I am assuming the base address to be 1000. And I am also assuming that the size of integer is 4 bytes. Therefore, the address next to it will be 1004. And similarly, the address next to 1004 will be 1008 and so on. In the next statement, what I am trying to do, I am trying to assign value 10 to this particular location. A represents the base address of the array A. That is 1000. So we can replace this name of array by 1000 address. And with the help of dereference operator, I can go inside this location and can store this value 10 over here, right? That's what it represents. And with the help of printf function, I can print the output of a0, which is 10. Now, let's do some pointer arithmetic. Inside this main function, I have changed this line a little. I made it to star a plus 1 instead of star a. And I'm assigning 20 to it. Star a plus 1 means star 1000 plus 1 into 4. Because a represents the base address of the array, we can replace it to 1000. And then we can add 1 to it, but we cannot directly add 1. We should multiply it by 4. Because my assumption was that an integer represents 4 bytes of memory location. Therefore, we have to multiply it by 4. And then finally, after addition, we get this address 1004. That represents the second location. And with the help of this dereference operator, I can go inside this location and can store value 20 inside it. And then with the help of this printf function, I can print the content 20 on the screen. Right? Therefore, the output is 20. I can change this to a little more. I can make it a plus 2 and we know the answer. With a plus 2, we can go to this location. And with the dereference operator, I can go inside this location and can store value 30 inside it. And a2 represents the third element, therefore 30 will get printed on the screen, right? Now, from this discussion, it is clear that star a plus i is equal to ai. Here we can see star a is equal to a0, star a plus 1 is equal to a1, star a plus 2 is equal to a2, star a plus 3 is equal to a3 and so on. Therefore, star a plus i is equal to ai. Now let's rewrite the sum of elements of array program once again. Previously we have seen this program in which we are trying to add all these elements of this array A with the help of a pointer P. Initially we are assigning this pointer with the address of the first element of the array A and we are also checking this condition. Is the address contained in P is less than or equal to the address of A4? If this condition is satisfied, we will perform the step. Otherwise, we will come outside of this for loop and print the sum. Let's rewrite this code a little to help ease our task. Instead of writing address of a0, I can also write a. a0 represents the first element. And address of a0 means the address of the first element. And we know that name of the array represents the address of the first element. Therefore, instead of writing ampersand a0, I can also write a. And similarly, instead of writing ampersand a4, I can also write a plus 4. Isn't that simple? Therefore, by making these changes, I can write this program in this way, which is much easier to write and, of course, it is more readable. In both the cases, outputs are same. Okay? But be careful that it is true that we can use array names as pointers, but assigning a new address to them is not possible. Obviously, there is a distinction between array name and the pointer. We can use array names as pointers, but we cannot assign a new address to them. For example, we have an array A and what we are trying to do here is that we are not only incrementing the A, we are also assigning the new address to it. That's what A++ means. In this case, the output is error. Because A++ represents A equals to A plus 1. We are not simply accessing the next address, we are also assigning it to A. 
That's what we are doing here. Here is the pictorial representation of this array A and what we are trying is, we are trying to assign the address 1004 to array name A. Next address is 1004, that is A plus 1. We are assigning 1004 to A, which is not allowed. We cannot change the base address to 1004. So this operation is not allowed in case of arrays. Okay. Obviously, we can write something like this, A plus 1. Here, we are not trying to assign some new address to A. We are simply accessing the address of the second element of the array. We must have to understand the difference between accessing and assigning. Here in this case, we are simply accessing the second address, right? But in the previous case, we are assigning a new address to A and this is a wrong practice. But there is always an alternative. We can use another pointer which can be a representative of the array A. We can assign it the base address of the array A and we can do the pointer arithmetic. Here in this case, there is no problem. Star P equals to A means that pointer will simply point to the first location of the array A. And here plus plus P means that pointer will increment, which means that pointer will simply move one position in forward direction. And with the help of dereference operator, I can access this value 22. And finally, I can print it on the screen. So the conclusion is that we cannot assign a new address to the name of the array, but we can use a pointer which can be a representative of the array and then we can perform any arithmetic that we can perform. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation.